begin to breathe out of the silence the roaring lion declare the great has no claim on me then came the morning that sealed the promise your very shine this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine welcome to our online service we're glad to see you today hope you're having a good day Matthew 5, 13 to 16 says, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Very often we focus on the fact that these verses tell us to shine our light, and we focus on the light. We presume that the call here is to pick up the light, the same light that everybody else has, and carry it and show it to the world. In one sense, this is true. We're called to carry the light of Jesus to the world so that all who come in contact with us can see him. John 8 and 12. Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. The light that people see in us is to show them the way to Jesus. But what if we put the emphasis on your light? How you can shine a light, how I can shine a light. This is all about the way we shine a light, not the light itself. There's many different ways that we can show the message of Jesus to those around us. Looking at the verse this way, it makes the work of shining the light different for every person. This is my guitar. I lead one of the worship teams here at EPT. I use this guitar to shine my light. I use my voice and several instruments to shine my light. This is a picture of my motorcycle. This cut is what I wear when I ride. I'm part of a motorcycle ministry named Bikers for Christ. We do charity events and different activities in the community. When I have this patch on my back, I'm always conscious 
of how I'm representing Jesus to the people around me. When I'm writing, when I'm in businesses, when I'm just talking to people. This is something that draws attention to the fact that I'm a Christian. When people see the patch and the top rocker, there's no doubt that I'm a Christian. There's no doubt who I stand for. And when they see me, I always want them to see him through me. Both of these things are pretty different. The guitar in church is what you'd expect in a lot of cases for shining your light. Maybe a motorcycle and a patch are not. If you don't play instruments, if you don't sing, if you don't ride a motorcycle and wear a patch like I have, you can't represent Jesus to the world like I do. You can't shine your light like I do. You have to identify your talents and opportunities that God has given you. We can all shine our light through our businesses, our workplaces, our hobbies, and everyday interactions with people around us. The light's not meant to be a spotlight on me or you. The light is meant to be a lamp or a flashlight. It doesn't shine the light on us so people can see us. It shines the light on Jesus. It shines the light on the pathway that people can follow in order to get to him. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. God, we thank you for opportunities that you give us to uh, shine your light in the world. We pray that you would uh, give us boldness and give us wisdom as those opportunities arise, that we would be fearless and wise in the way that we talk to and deal with people. Pray that uh, anyone watching this today would have a good week, God, that we would be willing to step out for you. And if there's anyone watching that doesn't know you, God, I pray that someone around them would shine your light on them and that they would make a decision for you. We love you and we thank you. Amen. Have a good week.